A Sydney teenager speared through the head by a gate crasher at a private party has turned his focus to helping others avoid a similar fate. Today, Liam Knight took part in a charity hike against violence, a huge feat for someone forced to relearn how to walk. Two years ago, Liam Knight was lying in a hospital bed with shocking head injuries, the victim of senseless teenage violence. I wasn't going to do it, so Today, he joined scores of walkers from the Harbour Bridge to Balgala, raising awareness of the dangers teens face. People go out there and think, you know, I just want to drink and start fights and people have got to realise that their actions have consequences. Liam was at a birthday party at French's Forest when gate crashes turned up. Hey, keep going guys, move along. A 16 year old threw a three metre long steel bar. It pierced Liam's skull and lodged in his head. I've got a 19 year old son and I have to admit, like most parents, I'm concerned when he's on a night out. I don't rest easy until he's home safe. While Liam has lifelong physical disabilities, his recovery has been nothing short of miraculous. His mum is so proud. It's wonderful to see Liam the way he is and it's wonderful that um, my oldest son Shane wanted to organise this, the White Knight Foundation. After all he's been through, this young man has a remarkably positive outlook on life. It's a long journey, uh, I've got a long way to go but for uh, two years on I'm pretty happy. Simon Boda, Nine News.